Down the left-hand side of the planning board screen are the individual workplaces currently being scheduled. Across the top is the time scale and each one of the columns represents a single day, with a light grey area representing time out of shift. The different colour blocks are generated by the system and are used to easily differentiate between works orders. As you hover over each works order, you will notice the information in the box above the workplaces changes. Here you are being shown the job details, such as the works order number, part and operation numbers. Using the mouse wheel, we can easily adjust the number of resources displayed on the screen, as well as increase or decrease the default time scale. Work can be automatically scheduled using one of the pre-configured scheduling rules. Or it can be moved by simply dragging and dropping. The filling holes feature will then fill in any gaps that have been created. If your actual capacity changes, the system enables you to modify the available hours directly on the planning board screen. In order to maintain an optimal work schedule, defining accurate workplace information is essential. For example, if an operator is unavailable or there is a breakdown on the machine, you can simply reduce the hours to reflect its true capacity, which is also important for subsequent performance analysis. You can also modify multiple days simultaneously. Any changes that you have made are a what-if scenario. So, if you select load, all changes will revert to previous unless you have saved the schedule. To create the most realistic model of your available capacity, you can also adjust the efficiency settings against individual workplaces.